Nageki and Hitori, untangled from the king's wreckage, and I fall through the stars. Oh. Oh. This looks strangely familiar. It does. We touch down. Good point. We touch down in a field of silver grass. It is like nothing we saw inside the egg, or in the beautiful dream kingdom. Teo! Ryota! I'm so glad you all made it out okay. <laughs> yeah. And we knew you'd get out just fine, too. This theme always gets me. And... <sighs> you too, Nageki. You did really well. Must have been hard. I'm fine. <laughs> Nageki is tough. He has the soul of a buff manly man. <laughs> I don't want to think about where we'd be now if you two hadn't broken through back there. I'm really quite grateful. Thank you, Nageki. Right. Hmm. You call yourself a hero of justice, but you can't even get by without relying on your juniors, can you? Well, that's a little harsh. I'd never seen anything like this before, either. Can't you cut me a little slack? Hmm. You're too sloppy. You never manage to do anything without slipping up. But I suppose there's no harm in considering there to be some value in your efforts to come rescue us. Oh, thanks very much, Sekuya. Why, thank you. That alone makes this all worth it. Merry Christmas! You're in Kakarupa's return! <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> hey there, looks like everybody's together again. Oh, Mr. Migrant! <laughs> oh, come on. Do you have to look so angry, old friend? Wait a minute, is. is. is wait, Ryuta's here now! Whoa, forehead, this is gonna be epic. Your forehead's gonna end up permanently creased. That's how I got this black mask. <laughs> You're assuming I remember what he looks like. Wait. You know the doctor? No, we're complete strangers. Translation, yes. Ouch. That's cold. Anyway. Let me introduce my new friends. Over here, guys. Oh, did you have to bring them? <gasps> oh, no! It's okay, because I think they're free now. More of the pushy peasants. Pheasants, <laughs> even. <laughs> I've heard enough out of you lot. Don't worry. They're all going back to being migrants like me. Uh, my shoulders are so stiff. Uh, that was a long nap. Man, I could eat a horse. <laughs> oh, what a dream. Wow. Where exactly are you from, by the way? <laughs> uh, Scotland. I, uh, honestly enough, I do actually have a little Scottish ancestry. Is that Scottish? I'm a banana. <laughs> Objection! That was banana Scottish. <laughs> hey, don't go stealing my lines. It's a very particular dialect. <laughs> the birds the king had absorbed? Yeah, that's them. We're all going to go back to wandering the night sky. You too, of course. I don't want to. I'm scared. Where'd he come from? Mr. King, you're way too quiet. I didn't even realize you were here. I'm so tiny now. Just leave me alone. That's no good. 
If we left you on your own here, you'd just do the same thing again, wouldn't you? Besides, traveling the stars isn't that bad. You don't need to be scared. You're lying. You don't know where the train will go either, do you? Nope. That's what traveling's all about. Hurrah! <laughs> you made the king cry, mister. You meanie. Wait, you mean me? Since when am I the bad guy? It looks like you are now. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't mean it like that. Uh, when we return our names to the stars, we're leaving on a journey into the night. We make all sorts of memories while we're alive, right? Good ones and bad ones. All that baggage is too heavy. We can't carry it with us into our next lives. So we journey through the night sky, letting our memories go a little bit at a time. I, I don't want to. Forgetting is scary. But if you keep clinging to your memories, you can never be reborn. We're like stones washing down a river. You might start out as a big, jagged lump, but as you keep washing along, you get worn down until you're round and smooth. The sparks as your corners chip off are what make the stars shine. That's a hell of an analogy. <laughs> and you've journeyed through the night sky until you can't get any rounder. You turn into an egg and fall back to Earth. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Back there again. Don't you want to be reborn, Mr. King? No. Hmm. I don't want to go through all that again. Come on, it won't all be bad. Well, I guess it might be. You never know. Ha ha ha! You made him cry again! <gasps> Yay! The King's Station! The King's Station! Leaving on a journey? Heading home? This is a line for you either way! This is the Earth Southern Cross Line, that's right. The train to Earth will be coming next. Don't get on the wrong one! It's the train! Come on, before it leaves! Come with us, Your Highness. Oh, would you like a caramel? <laughs> Beautiful scenery, jolly companions. What a wonderful day. Come on, let's go. Oh, right. I completely forgot. Come here for a second, old friend. Please don't act so familiar. Let me give you a present before I leave. As proof of our friendship. Here, have my hat. <laughs> Give me a minute. What do I have? Sorry, I can never keep my things straight. Indeed. You're always picking up useless gewgaws and you never put them in order. Uh, ah, here we are. I picked this up in Orion's belt. It's a fossil. Look at it. Hmm. Isn't it cool? It's huge. How can you lose it if it's huge? <laughs> Are you a child? Hey, geology's fun too. You should try going on an excavation sometime. I bet you'd love it. I shall keep it in mind. Oh my goodness. 
and you. <gasps> oh! Huh? Me? Let me give you this amber. Isn't it pretty? Uh, <laughs> yes, it is, but why are you giving it to me? I actually meant to give it to you a long, long time ago. Oh! Sorry, I've got to go. Wham! Oh, right in the heart. No! <laughs> Take care. Excuse me. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Take care of your mother, okay? The saddest beaks. I... I... Now are you now are you okay? <laughs> All aboard for the Southern Cross. See, even he's sad. You missing anybody? What about me? Oh. Oh no. I completely forgot. We fought the king with all we had so we could all go home, including Nageki, but... Maybe that's not where he needs to go. What do... What do you want to do, Nageki? I... I want to stay on Earth a little longer. There's still so much I want to see. Maybe this is greedy of me. Maybe I'm being selfish, like the king. But there are still important things that I need to remember. I can't release memories into the night if I don't have them. So I want time until I either remember everything or replace it with new memories. I don't know, kiddo. We never recommend haunting as a death style choice, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Too easy to go all black and bitter. You mean Nageki could turn into something like the king? I really don't think he would do that. If I start turning bad, I'll get on the same train as the king. Is Nageki not allowed to stay with us, Mr. Conductor? Like I said, I can't recommend it. But you said you've lost your memories? If you don't have any ill will left over from your lifetime, you'll probably be okay. And mister, you burned up your free pass. You don't look like you have any other tickets, so you'll have to wait until they're reissued anyway. So, Nageki can. For now, he can go back to Earth. All right. Yay! I'm so glad, Nageki. It's a happy thing that your adventure has continued here. <laughs> <laughs> for better or for worse, I suppose. This is definitely for better. You wanted to go home yourself, after all. And if the conductor had tried to force you on, he would have gotten a taste of my right straight left uppercut combo anyway. <laughs> hey now, I'm not looking for any trouble. What's a human girl doing at the bird station anyway? This is all getting kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't notice that before? Last call for the Southern Cross. The train's pulling out. All aboard! The train climbs upward into the starry sky. I hope the king and the others have a nice trip. 
Come on, everyone, let's go home. Hmm. He's got his eyes back. Hmm. We release our unhappy memories and are born again. I can't escape mine. I can only go on and make more. But when I touched his wing, And that's all for your sophomore year! What a fucking ride that was! <laughs> <laughs> Take care, everyone! So, that's the end of the semester. I guess we have spring break now, but we have to plan ahead for exams, so it's not so exciting. <sighs> release! Ah, glorious release! Down you, yeah. <laughs> Until we meet again, loyal friends. I wonder what kind of class I'll be in next year. I hope we're all together again. <laughs> Something like this might happen again. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. That would promise to be another unpleasantly emotional year. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you all will have learned to behave yourselves by then. <laughs> Coco san is always behaving himself. You're the worst of the lot! He didn't say he was behaving himself properly. <laughs> hey, Tail? Are you doing anything over the weekend? Aww. The weekend? Aside from Sunday morning TV, no. Why do you ask? Um, Ankel's wanting me to help him with another manga <laughs> style. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> I mean, I was wondering if we could meet up somewhere. Of course. Gosh, you don't have to be so formal, Ryota. Oh. I guess that's true. I'll send you an email, okay? See ya. Shock! <laughs> Have you two knocked another flask over? I keep telling you not to go running around the infirmary. Merry Christmas! Mirror and Cacker didn't throw no fun! <laughs> huh? I'm sorry, my wing slipped. <laughs> I, I feel my cleaver might slip soon as well. <laughs> You're the last one I'd have expected to see break something, Doctor. I was thinking about things. I was having feelings. <laughs> In any case, I've lost my concentration now. I think I would do well to take a little air. I shall leave early. He seems to be recovering a lot more slowly than me. Must have been the drugs. <laughs> I wonder if he saw something particularly terrifying in that dream. He was something particularly terrifying <laughs> in that dream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, time to clean this up. Could you two get me the broom? No, oh, the Christmas! Resikuya! <laughs> <laughs> Last time my grand plans were swept aside by some unrelated and Thoroughly ridiculous incident, but today I settle this score. You should have a front row seat for the second unveiling of my wonderful masterpiece now. Prepare yourself, Isa Soma. The artistic weapon I shall unveil today is. Murder beaked. Oh. <laughs> Your target isn't here, not so young kiddo. What? And hey, what kind of name is that? I am offended. 
Iwa means Shu went home. There's nothing for you to do here. But what a luck! This is too much! Where does he live? I'll break in through his window if I have to! I know someone who could help with that. The game just had to get me one more time, didn't it? <laughs> And here, the commander, the snow demon sage, falls! Overcome with anger, the disciple of the violent rose reaches out to the forbidden... Oh, wait, Ankel! Didn't the disciple of the violet rose go across the border to train himself in the last chapter? Even if the snow demon sage loses, won't it take a while for him to find out? I, I, I see, yes, that is correct, Edelblau. This is a terrible contradiction. It stinks of the demon spores. <laughs> <laughs> These demon spores sure are scary, Ankel. Come on, let's think about how the Disciple of the Violet Rose should make his fall into darkness, okay? Very well, in accordance with the contract of old. You two are awfully noisy. <laughs> Be quiet in the library. <laughs> it's the end! Oh, <gasps> cute beaks! Mm. Aww. Oh. I, I don't know what to say. There is nothing we can possibly say. Except thank you, um, Moa. Thank you, Moa. Moa. I have one thing I can Ooh. say, and that's congratulations to everyone <laughs> who made it. <laughs> yeah. Somehow we we here we are. Uh -huh. this, this, uh, this game is ooh. better than most games I have purchased. <laughs> yeah. no, I said this before. If this hasn't earned your five dollars, my God. <laughs> you know, and if she what has earned. If, if this game has, you know, completely earned the $5, buy more stuff at Moa's shop. Yeah. <laughs> Please. She deserves it. Everyone knows they want the Yuya thong, right? <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. totally. <laughs>